Hello, Armenians! <laughs> uh, I am back in my single-player world. Ooh, I haven't shown you guys my house yet with the new dome. Hmm. Next time. Um, for now... I've been playing in my multiplayer world um, a good amount the last couple of days, including a trip that I probably will have already posted by now. Um, where Porkchop and I went walking around the multiplayer world and pretty much filled out our maps, although he subsequently fell into lava and lost his. Um, <laughs> but anywho, uh, it made me realize that I've explored very little of the single-player world around where I resettled uh, at the beginning. And look at, look at how... And you know all that down there to the southeast that's open up there? That's actually... I haven't really... Oh, wait. No, it's up to the north. Maybe it's all the stuff up to that north there. I didn't actually go through that ocean. Um, I actually... My mind tunnels out that direction. Um, so, anyway, without... Actually, is this pick about to break? I think it might be. Let's see if I can... If seven... I don't think seven levels is going to be enough to repair it. But, oh, but first, let's sleep. Um, essentially, we're going to go on a trip. Yay! Hooray. Um, my phone beeps. I wonder if that's a text message. Uh, nope. Email. Not important. Anyway. Um, should, no, we're not going to take you. We're going to be on the boat a lot. Don't you ever forget. Oh, 11 to repair. You know what? I've got another... I've got another pick in here. Let's see, efficiency, four, unbreaking, three, silk touch. Since what we're going to be doing is a little more dangerous, we'll just use that one. And we'll take the shovel, and we'll take the axe, because of the things I want to do on this trip, um, one of those things is... Finding birch trees to bring back here. Because I've got pine trees. I've got oak trees. Um, also, if I happened to across a jungle biome in one of these unloaded chunks, jungle trees would be nice too. Um, but definitely birch trees. Hopefully jungle trees. And, uh, you know, let's just uh, go on a little adventure here. And... Uh, Let's, I don't know, talk about some stuff. Oh, I forget that I actually expanded this out here. At least the fence. And I still haven't finished that. So let's... Uh, actually, I want to be able to rapidly switch back and forth between map and at least axe. Because I can defend myself with an axe. Um, let's... I've already explored this part. Hey, look how. But... Uh, I say we go over here, build a boat, go sailing, so... Um, I'm still... I don't know if it's me having issues or Fraps having issues, but I've had a couple of audio malfunctions um, recording... Ooh, my uh, SMP world. Um, where... Oh, there's this hilarious... Uh, episode, well, it would have been an episode where Porkchop and I um, built a, <laughs> a a lava pit to execute Mr. Meowmerkins, that uh, cat that was awaiting execution, and uh, absolutely hilarious, and when we dropped him into the lava pit, just made the, like, a much more pathetic sound than we were expecting as he burned mercilessly to death. Um, but all my game recorded was my headset audio. It didn't actually record the game audio, and so all my interaction with Porkchop wasn't recorded. The cat's, like, death cries <laughs> weren't recorded. It's just a, a tragic loss. Not the cat, but the audio. <laughs> so, oh, I just had to... It pained me, but I just had to throw that footage away. It was just no good. There was no entertaining value in listening to me talk to myself. Um... So that sucks, but uh, we soldier on, and I've got a couple uh, other 
I've had a couple other, actually, like I said, I've probably already posted one by now um, of me and Porkchop filling out the map. And then there's another one that'll be posted soon that I just did earlier tonight, which was me, Porkchop, and uh, Castro going on a, uh, well, yeah, a caving adventure. We were essentially looking for, um, he found an abandoned mine, and he was like, hey, we should go check it out. He actually tweeted at me, if you want to go look at my Twitter, at the picture he took. Um, but anywho, uh, yeah, so we went exploring and ended up in this really long, uh, <laughs> caving trip, um, you know, just exploring and such. Actually, let's make a couple boats here. So that'll be going up. That one worked out fine. And I don't know why. I didn't change any settings, but for some reason that one worked. Um, and and the, the cat one didn't. I don't know. Ah, very sad. But uh, <laughs> And then shortly after, actually that happened during the video I've already, already posted me and Porkchop filling out our maps. Um, after Porkchop died, our cats just randomly spawned on us. Is that a... Oh, is that a swamp? Um... Yeah, our cats just randomly spawned on us, and then, so mine got lost in a mine. <laughs> Ended up getting himself killed. Oh, hey, look at that. Birch trees. And do I have shears? Because this is kind of a swamp biome. I want... I want that lily pad. <laughs> oh, wrong button. Gotta swim. Where's... Damn it, lily pad. Use that for decoration. Back at my home base. gather up some of this. So I'm really, uh, I don't, the thing that bothers me most, not, isn't just losing the audio, but the fact that I don't know why it wasn't recorded. Um, so I don't know if I can prevent it happening again, nor do I know a way I can check and see if it's working as I'm recording. It's like when I'm done, I just have to check and be like, I hope that didn't screw up. Um, which sucks, but you know, we'll see how it goes. This is, that's interesting. Huh. It's a strangely perfect little square pool with a tiny little beach there. Hmm. Little beach. Let's get more lily pads. Always good to gather new resources. I'm pretty sure I don't have any lily pads yet, so. And that's part of why we're going to be collecting those birch saplings. Hopefully they'll start to fall here in just a second. And I also want to grab some of these vines. So I can grow some more at home. I don't, I guess I, I don't need a lot because they'll actually spread. So, and I do not need those leaves. But I do need birch saplings. Yes. All right. So part one of our mission already accomplished. Um, but, you know, well, I guess this part one it te technically is filling out the map, I guess. But submission one complete. Um, submission two is obviously going to be trying to find a jungle biome if possible, but that is less of a priority. Um, it all depends on how the seed works in the updated world. Giggity. How does your seed work? <clears throat> oh, I guess also if we can find a village, that would be lucky, but that can't really be a... It's not really a goal, per se. Come on. There we go. Popping back onto that map. Mm -mm -mm. So, oh, man. Yeah, SMP is fun. Like, I didn't... Like, I thought having a world that uh, would be persistent, that people could create stuff in, in itself would just be, like, the really awesome part of SMP. And that is very awesome. Um, like, today I logged in and uh, Porkchop had built this uh, really simple and really nice customizable enchanting room. Um, and it was just like I logged in and boom, new building. It just, it was, you know, kind of a, a good taste of what's to come. Giggity. Is that... More swamp? No, that's a is that a jung that's a jungle. Well, I'll be damned. That was easy. Wait, that can't be. Is that really a jungle? That's a smooth transition in this new chunk. I figured there'd be a chunk boundary issue. 
Huh. Let's get us some jungle saplings. What was I saying? <laughs> oh, am I off the map again? Holy crap. Don't break boat. Okay. Ooh, I have not gotten a chance to use a timber mod on a jungle tree yet. <laughs> oh shit, let's see what happens here. Hopefully this isn't a giant lag spike. Wow! <laughs> that's so much easier than cutting one down legit. Le oh my god, that's incredible. This would make clearing area for the SMP world so much easier. Boom! Boom! <laughs> it's a rain in wood! Hallelujah! It's a rain in wood! I wish it was men! What? <clears throat> yep. Oh yeah, there we go. There's a jungle sapling. Jungle sapling. Come on now. A shaman. Look at all that stuff left up there. Come on, jungle saplings. Should, cut. Should we take another one? Take one of the smaller ones. I'll let that start to melt away and drift away. Oh, give me those saplings and free my soul. I wanna get lost in your rocking. What the hell? Oh, that's dirt. It's like, is that floating in the water? Uh, I didn't bring a bed, and it's about to be nighttime. Hmm. I guess we'll just hit the open sea. We'll set an open course. I can't go in a boat in Minecraft without Come Sail Away, sung by Eric Cartman, getting stuck in my head. Which, I was glad to hear that <laughs> during that video that uh, Porkchop also has that thought. <laughs> As he started singing it. Um, anywho. Time to get out in the water since it's about to get dark and spooky. Back to the map. So look at that. Jungle saplings. We're good. That's uh, submission two accomplished. Now I guess all we've got left to do is fill out the map and find a village. And we've only covered one tiny corner. Odds are looking good. <laughs> For the virgin seas. Are there any seas that aren't virgin? Like, is anyone having sex with the sea? Because if so, I need some directions on how to do that. That sounds awesome. Oh, as I say, oh yeah, recording. I hope I can... I hope I don't have any more recording issues, basically. I don't want to lose any awesome multiplayer moments. Oh, yeah. I was saying, um, yeah, the multiplayer persistence part in itself is pretty damn awesome. Um, but playing with other people, Giggity, um, while they're online, <laughs> I wish this was like my uh, SMP world. I could make it daylight. <laughs> um Playing with other people is, it's like, you know, any other multiplayer game, which is what I find mo the most fun, um, especially these days, is playing games online with other people. It's just so much more fun, and, uh, and, and it's, it's so true for Minecraft. I mean, I didn't real like, I love the single player, but I didn't realize how much more fun multiplayer could be. Um, when people are actually online and you're off adventuring together, caving together, and just even just talking while you're building stuff. Um, you know, even if we're, like, we've been in Skype um, quite a bit, you know, during our chat, but also just text chatting is, is just kind of nice. Just kind of shoot a message back and forth, you know. Hey, blah, 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 blah. That's exactly what, how we text chat. It's really just pointless, but... <laughs> oh, it's just uh, it's so fun. I can't... I, um, I can't wait to invite more people to the SMP world, basically. And uh, I'm not being all willy-nilly with it, but uh, I'm as ridiculous as that word is. Or is it hyphenated? Willy-nilly, maybe? Will oh, creeper. Hey, hey, hey. How about you don't come out here and blow up my boat? Um, no, spider. I'm sailing too close to the coast. Uh, I keep getting distracted. <laughs> Yeah, I can't wait to get more people into the server. Um, and I will, you know, slowly. Um, but there's actually been a couple of times, like right now the server has 10 slots. Um, so that's simultaneous slots that are available. So 10 people can be on at a time um, currently. 
And so far, it's, uh, you know, I've got me and two other people who have access to the server. And uh, earlier tonight, all three of us were on at once. So that was a lot of fun. Um, I don't expect there to be, a, you know, in general, the time zones to kind of sync up as much for everyone to be on at the same time. But uh, you never know. So, I mean, if I invite 10 people um, or nine people plus myself, I don't know how likely it'll be um, for us all to be on at the same time. And if I invite more than that, I don't know how likely it'll be that everyone, anyone, there's a, ever a time when the slots are all full and someone can't actually join the server um, because it's full slash when it'll be time for me to upgrade to the next size um, memory size to, to successfully support more people. I think I can actually modify my server to support more players um, but with the um, the memory allotted to me for the pay for the uh, amount that I'm paying for my server, um, this is what's reasonably supported. I mean, any more than ten people, and probably even ten people is going to be a bit much, and uh, going to experience a lot of server lag. <clears throat> but uh, you know, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Right now, it's just it's just a ton of fun. <laughs> As Minecraft tends to be. Uh, if you're still on the fence about Minecraft, um, I, I don't know what else to tell you. I've shown you a lot of cool stuff, I think, and, and stuff's only going to get even more more cool as we go on. Um, and even though I can't guarantee everybody a spot on the multiplayer server, um, I can guarantee that most. if you have any piece of your body that even partially likes creativity, um, creating stuff... Um, doing interesting things that, you know, I mean, there's, there's obviously not cutting edge graphics in this game, right? So throw that out of the window. But um, beyond that, creativity, absolutely. Um, a creative outlet for creating new and awesome things. Um, even really advanced stuff with the redstone wiring, you can create um, complex electrical circuits. Um, and some really cool stuff. You can create music using... Uh, you know, redstone and using repeaters to set the beat to note blocks. And there's all kinds of stuff you can do. But, yeah, if you can, uh, if you're still on the fence about Minecraft, uh, you know, take the plunge. I have to text what? Really to to okay, honey, what do you got to do? Sarah's informing she needs to com use a computer at some point. Um, is that, let's go through this inlet here. Um, there is a free browser-based version of Minecraft you can try without buying. Um, give that a shot. See if it interests you at all. Also, when it comes out on Xbox Live Arcade, actually in the next couple of weeks or something like that, um, you know, I'm sure like every Xbox Live Arcade game on Xbox Live, it'll have a trial version. Whoa, don't shoot at me, skeleton. So uh, I'd say try that, you know. Try Minecraft, and, and I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. And if you're like me, you might try the, the free version, the demo, don't blow up, and uh, you'll just be instantly hooked. <laughs> and you'll be like, oh, got to buy it. That's how I was. I, I tried the free version um, for like a, an hour or so one day. Um, I didn't have a whole lot of time. I was just kind of checking it out. And then the next day I was like, you know, I'll try it out some more. And I, you know, three or four hours later I looked up and I was like, oh, man, this is awesome. So I was like, I immediately bought the, re the you know, it was it was either beta or alpha at that point. I bought it pretty early on. And I was like, oh, man, I've got to, I've got to have me some of this. Um, oh, I guess we're moving along here by boat. And, uh, yeah, I, I think a lot of people will have a similar experience if they haven't yet tried it. That's my spiel. It's not my job to sell your Minecraft. Uh, it's my job. <laughs> and by my job, I mean not my job at all, but uh, my hope that I can help uh, make you aware of things that will be enjoyable. Um, if I can bring a little bit of more fun and entertainment to your life. <laughs> oh, I forgot this is my super sword. Um, shit, what's on this? Sharpness 4, looting and unbreaking. Um, if I can bring, you know, entertainment is, you know, fun part. Um, but, you know, if you can have fun without relying on me, <laughs> all the better. Um, all these dogs. Do I have any bones? I don't have any bones. Otherwise, I'd, I should have brought some because I could just tame a disposable dog. If I brought my, one of my dogs, I didn't, didn't expect them to survive, so that's why I didn't. Let's go this way. 
I'll use my axe as temporary defense in case I get ambushed. Uh, nothing too exciting yet. Uh, so yeah. Um, battlefield patch is interesting. <laughs> I haven't put enough time back into the battlefield since the patch to make a verdict on that. Um, still like Battlefield. I don't. My my biggest pet peeve right now about the the patch is the affluence of the custom servers. The fact that all the rented servers now. I don't mind that they added rented servers to consoles. I think that's awesome. What I don't like is that you can't filter them out of your search. And not only that, not only can you not filter them out when you're browsing the server list, if you go to Quick Match, which is essentially what I consider the matchmaking of Battlefield 3, it will throw you into custom servers. Which, you know, I got thrown... My, by matchmaking, I was like, hey, I want to play a game of Rush. And I was expecting, hey, it'll throw me into an official DICE server for Rush. You know, like, it'll be the vanilla servers for the matchmaking. It threw me into 24-7 Operation Metro. No effing thanks. You know? I mean, come on. But um, the gameplay tweaks and stuff, so far, I don't have any real complaints. Haven't spent a whole lot of time with it. Um, so far, so good on that front. Don't like all the frickin' custom servers being everywhere. Ugh. Forget about the fact that they're all considered ranked, so you can buy a server and, to a, at least some extent, set up the rules to your liking and restrict it to only people that you'll allow into that server. It's like people paying to boost, which, you know, that's not too surprising for EA and DICE considering they'll actually sell you, like, the upgrades if you don't want to uh, rank up kits. I'm in another jungle biome. Hmm. If you don't want to rake up kits in Battlefield, it's, you know, since Bad Company and even Bad Company 2, um, they've kind of, after the game's been out a while, been like, okay, if you're late to the game and you don't want to grind through, you know, 50 levels to rank up or whatever, um, you can, you know, pay money and we'll give you the unlocks. I'm, that's a little kind of greedy I think, on my part, EA's always kind of run me the wrong way with some of their practices for DLC and stuff like that. Um, so I'm a little negatively biased against that, somewhat unreasonably. However, um, I, I do not disagree with the concept of um, allowing people who are late to the game an opportunity to immediately make the game fun for them. And if they're willing to spend a little bit of money to avoid some of the grinding aspect that not a lot of people like about online games... Um, then I say, you know what? More power to them. You know, let them, let them, let them pay the money if they want to. You don't have to, and it's, you know, it's not giving people an unfair advantage. I mean, if you say, well, they haven't earned those unlocks, they don't deserve to use them, that's a little elitist. It's like saying that you put the time in so you deserve to have everything, and someone who's new to the game doesn't deserve to have fun because they haven't put in the time that you did. And that's, you know, I don't know. I'm not the kind of person who thinks that I need to, um supersede, like, insert my uh, opinions of a way someone should play a game um, for that aspect onto another gamer. Now, when it comes to judgments about people using shit that's broken, um, half my hatred goes to the game designers for making a broken game, Infinity Ward, and half of my hatred goes to those players for using um, what is clearly exploited. And especially when I hear the argument, you know, I paid for this game. This is, you know, and it's fun for me to do that. So I, you know, so I should be allowed to play the game however I want because I paid the money for it. And that's bullshit. And that's like saying I bought this car. I should be able to drive at whatever speed I want to because I paid for the car. You're you're inside of a system that other people also need to be able to enjoy either safely or in a way that's entertaining for them and Someone essentially doing the equivalent of griefing using built-in game components to ruin the experience for other people uh, really gets under my skin, and I will never have respect for someone who uh, makes that argument. I don't think it's a valid argument. I don't think your mommy and the people who make this argument usually are people whose mommies buy them video games. Your mommy paying money for your video game uh, does not give you an excuse to be a freaking douchebag when you play it, Okay. And you're going to have to learn this about not just video games, but your entire life. Because if you think being a douchebag is hilarious, there's a good chance that you're a pretty shitty human being and no one's really going to want to spend time around you. 
Um, so you might want to just quell that little behavioral experiment right now. Um, get your shit under control and try being a, an actual human being and a member of society. End rant. Ooh, God, there's just something about dark holes that makes me want to get inside. Let's see if I can... Oh, look at that. Just You guys just got rescued from watching a big, long <laughs> excursion of me getting lost in tunnels. Man, the, f the frame rate... I never really thought of the frame rate where this game is really taxing on my computer, but it's so much less taxing playing multiplayer. It's weird to see the frame rate just kind of chug every now and then in single player. Just as it's drawing in new chunks and regenerating terrain. That... All that stuff that this the multiplayer server server handles for you. All you have to do is basically draw the blocks. Um. <laughs> God, that's fun. Actually, I probably shouldn't even be gathering this wood. I'm just gonna have a full inventory of these giant wood stacks. <coughs> Giggity! Look at that ridiculousness. Um, we're making pretty good progress, and I've you know ow. I've ranted a decent amount, so this is <laughs> a productive episode. Um, I, I, you know, every episode I ask for you guys' feedback on just anything, um, and I always love your feedback. I feel like I probably shouldn't keep asking for it because it's redundant, but I always want to make sure that you guys know that um, that it is welcome and encouraged, and I don't want to make the sin of omission and not mention, hey guys, leave some feedback, and then you think, well, wait, does he not want feedback anymore? Oh, and this is, this shovel has silk touch. It's like, why is this dropping clay blocks instead of clay? Hmm. Interesting. Uh, give me clay. Oh, God. Uh, fight through the pain. Come on. Clay. Clay. I want clay so that I can have make brick so I can eventually build an awesome brick structure because clay is relatively rare. Um, but I always, every time now when I collect clay, I always think of, you know, stopping and going out of your way to collect clay is what cost Hugglypuff his life. And it makes me a little bit sad inside. <gasps> wow, this is starting to look like a not a great idea. But regardless, when I see clay, I need to grab it. <laughs> Although I'm sure I've walked past miles of clay. Man. You know, I was hoping there would be some, some jungle biomes nearby. I, uh, now I'm kind of wishing there weren't so goddamn much of it over here. <laughs> oh, jungles really... They really are... Jungle to get through. I mean, they did such a great job designing the the terrain generation for jungles. I mean, it is it is a damn jungle. <coughs> really, it's a jungle in the jungle, Weezy. You're a freaking genius. Just occurred to me. Don't need grass blocks. I can use a couple of ferns. Yeah, I can, you can actually pick up grass as well, but A, my inventory's full, and B, I can find grass anywhere. Ferns, on the other hand, are more common in jungles, I think. Could be mistaken about that. Any hooby. Uh, what else to talk about on my giant rambling excursion of fun? Um... Yeah, I think I was talking about feedback, about, I don't want to not remind you guys to leave feedback and for you to think that I don't want feedback anymore, because I always want feedback. Um, but I'm also worried that if I keep asking for it, you're going to be like, yeah, we know you want feedback. And it's like, I just gave you feedback. I don't need to give you more feedback. God, you're so needy. And I am needy, guys. I need it from you. need you to feed my back. Um, but... I, you've seen just in all my videos how I'm wandering around and I get so easily distracted. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, something shiny. Ooh, a little dude, something to go look at. Um, that's kind of how I am with my channel as well. I have fun playing this. I have fun playing that. 
And I'll do that. Look at those that lineup of pig asses. Awesome. Um, look, yeah, see, those are what I'm talking about. Look how easily I get randomly distracted. Um, <coughs> what was I talking about? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so the feedback, um, you know, is a way for... I just realized that was a spider. Um, for you guys to remind me which direction you kind of like me to, to get the channel going in. Um, and I know sometimes it may not feel like your feedback's being... Um, scene, like, but even something so simple as more Battlefield! Yay, I love Ma Minecraft! Yay, I love Battlefield! Or, hey man, I want to see some Call of Duty. Surprisingly, I have not seen anyone request a Call of Duty video in a long time, and that actually makes me really happy. Um, but if you, that's what you guys wanted, you know, leave that feedback. And, you know, something that simple even just kind of puts that thought back in my head. Hey, people want to see this. People want to see that. People, you know, if you guys wanted to see, hey, I don't like Modern Warfare 3, but I want to see Call of Duty, you know, I'd be motivated to, when I'm thinking about, what do I want to do tonight? Um, you know, I might be like, hey, some, so-and-so said they really wanted to see Call of Duty. Let's play some Black Ops, you know. Let's have some fun playing Black Ops. Um, so that kind of, like, when I say leave feedback, um, you know, it, it's... You know, it's partially helping you you guys helping me guide my channel and, uh, you know, keeping me on track and, you know, partially just want to keep up the interaction. The community around my channel is what I've come to love about it. Um, I mean, I don't know what else there is to love. I mean, I love making the videos and having fun playing video games. Um, playing video games with my friends was the initial motivation, obviously. I've said this many times for starting my channel um, to share you know, the fun aspect of multiplayer gaming um, with people. Because there's too much, or at least for my taste on YouTube, there was a whole lot of people, um, here's how awesome I am at this. Watch me play this. Watch me play that. And uh, I was like, you know what? I want to watch people, you know, I would like to see someone have fun. Because I was thinking, you know, when I play video games with my friends, I just have a ton of fun. We talk about random stuff. We have a good time. Everything's hilarious, and it's just nothing but good times. I'd like to share that with people, you know? I'd like people to see that aspect of gaming and not feel like they always have to be, look how uber lead I am. I'm so freaking awesome, and don't you wish you were you could play like this? Um, there was too much of that, in my opinion. and So I started my channel with the idea of having fun, not for the sake of being better than other people at video games, which, by the way, means absolutely nothing in your life. Um, having fun... And interacting with your friends and other people in an adult and mature way is an important part of life. So to that respect, um, multiplayer gaming especially can be a really good social tool. Um, there's a lot of opinion from older people. <laughs> My mother-in-law is one of the major offenders. That uh, video games are, you know, wastes of time for kids. You know, that's kind of the perspective. They're toys that kids play with to waste time. When they're not doing something productive and meaningful, like school or work. Um, and that, I guess to an extent... Oh, yeah, skeleton, leave me alone. Used to be the case um, when multiplayer gaming was... Well, even, even back in the early days of multiplayer gaming, where sitting around a, a console with three of your buddies was multiplayer gaming. Even that was a good opportunity to hang out with your friends. But especially now where... My friends are scattered around the country, you know, because we don't... Creeper, I saw you. Don't you follow... Oh, my fucking God. <laughs> Guys, I'm... Holy shit, Creeper Palooza. Uh, go. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Um, multiplayer gaming, yeah. Um, <laughs> that social aspect has been an important part. and And you know what? One of the things you gotta you know that's important to learn at a young age that your parents never are qualified to teach you but kids learn through like the the rule of the video game playground is video games and you know playground games in general are a, a way to learn social etiquette if you will because i mean <laughs> everybody's had that friend back in the day or you know maybe even nowadays who you go to their house, you're playing their game, so they make the rules. They are the best character, you know. I, I don't, it may be more for my age bracket for you guys that didn't have this experience, but playing like GoldenEye 64, you know, you always had that friend who it was his N64, and so he always got to be odd job. And you know what? No one should be odd job. That little midget doesn't belong in a first person shooter because he's the smallest target in the world. <laughs> but, you know. 
he's just like he's that guy that he is odd job. You know, it's his Xbox. He's gonna be odd job. And if you're not gonna let him be odd job, then you're not gonna play his game. Um, and that kind of behavior is something to be observed and avoided, and hopefully socially engineered out. I mean, if you give that person enough crap about being a douchebag, being odd job. Um, then they're going to learn that it's not socially acceptable for them to unbalance um, a social interaction, a game in their favor, just because you know they own whatever you're playing on, or they feel that they're um, entitled in some way to uh, to an advantage. Um, so that teaches social etiquette, but also. Um, <laughs> You know, competitiveness can always be fun between friends, and also just social interaction. There's a lot of people these days just don't know how to interact with people. Um, socially awkward is a common term, and damn it, creeper. And uh, I think video games, multiplayer games, are a good way to avoid that. That said, um, and no offense to the people who watch my videos who are under 12 or 13 or even 14 and 15 years of age, um, but especially if you're under. Let's say if you're 14 years of old or younger. If you're under 15 years old. Most people who are also above that age don't want to hear you talk online. I'm sorry. I don't mean that to be rude or anything like that. They just don't. Because um, you sound like, you know, you, they just associate that with a, a little kid. And they're not trying to hang out with little kids. I mean, uh, I'm lost on my map and I'm under siege here. Let me try and get away before I start dogging on children some more. Um, oh my god. Do not! Do not attack me! Ow! Okay, I've got to get to land and get out of here. Thank god I got some decent armor on. Where am I? Oh shit, am I off the map? Oh, this could be awkward. Okay. I think, I'm pretty sure it's back this way. Huh. Um... Put myself in a bit of a panic mode here. I've interrupted my own thought about how people don't want to listen to children, but um, yeah, without being insulting, you know, I, I'm trying not to be insulting to to younger gamers. Let's you know, let's be a little nice and and just say that. Um, but for, let's use I'll just use myself as an example, right? I'm a 27 year old man, um, and I'm going to be honest with you, in my day-to-day -day life, I don't hang out with 12-year-old boys. <laughs> and when you hear it said out loud, you're like, well, of course, that would be creepy. Why would you do that? Um, when I'm online playing video games, I'm hanging out with my friends. Like, John Jacob is a guy who was my roommate from college. Damn it, creeper. I'm trying to tell an anecdotal story here. Ugh. Um, you know, obviously, Pip is my wife. Um, KJ is my brother-in-law. Um... And even the people that I've met through the channel that have become my online friends, you know, my make-believe friends, but, you know, people that I end up hanging out with and talking to tend to be at least of a reasonable um, age. Um, and, I, 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 you know, that's me hanging out. So me hanging out online, in my mind, is the same as the way I would hang out with someone, you know, in my living room. If I wanted, want someone to come over and watch a movie, that's kind of the same as wanting to play a video game with them. Um, and I don't invite 12 year olds to my house to, uh, watch movies because that's creepy. Um, <laughs> and I'm not interested in the social interaction that I would have with young people like that. And, it, you know, again, I don't say to be insulting. It's just a fact of life. And, and w you're young now and that may sound like, you know, well, I'm a lot more grown up than you think. And that is, I, I have no doubt that that is the truth. But here's, here's a simple fact is damn it, spiders suck. That is also a simple fact. Um, <laughs> is that when you're older, you want to interact with people your age. That you know, that's just kind of how it works. Really? <laughs> oh, good. What the shit? Did you guys see that? That was incredible. Holy. Okay, I'm sorry. You still don't want to play Minecraft? Seriously? Did you just did you just see what happened? 
You don't you don't want to go out and buy Minecraft right now. Seriously? Seriously. Okay. Anyway, back to what I was saying. Um you know what? I I've ran it off enough about that. The point of the matter is, um and I think I was talking about this within context of who I want to invite to the server is but not really. I, I don't know. If I'm playing games online, I, I want to play games online with that. I don't even remember why I got onto this subject. Hey, look, a block update. Whoa, that's a big hole. Giggity. Um, so don't... Uh, I guess that's just kind of a um, generalized way of saying just blanket in the future. If Don't be insulted when someone who's older than you doesn't want to play a game with you. Because essentially, what they're saying is... Um, They'd rather hang out with people their own age. And it's not ins it's not meant to be insulting to you. But, you know, like like myself, people who are damn near 30 years old don't want to hang out with 12-year-olds. And I'm uh, that sounds really crass, but um but really, I mean, would would, <laughs> would you feel comfortable having a 30-year-old man invite you into their living room to watch a movie? I, you know, I, that's the same way I feel about playing video games. So I'm just going to leave it at that. I forget why I was talking about it, but it's a valid point. Oh, we were talking about social etiquette and young people. Um, but, yeah. Uh, video games, I think, are a, uh, a good way to build social skills and a good way to do interaction. Here's a chunk error that I was hoping to see. There we go. It's not a chunk error, but I must have generated this chunk at some point. And now there's a non-smooth chunk transition between this jungle biome and here, where it's trying to rectify the the generation code. But that is pretty freaking awesome. There's a little inlet in there. Uh, kind of an interesting world we've sailed our way into here. Um, yeah, video games I think are 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 more than just a uh, a, a waste of time, a, a you know mindless pastime. In addition to the, the the simple facts that there have been some studies on, although no real, like there have been some, you know, some decent scientific studies, none that really would get a lot of traction in the mainstream. But essentially, you know, it's been at least somewhat linked that, you know, people who play video games um, obviously have better hand-eye coordination just because when you use hand-eye coordination a lot, you get better hand-eye coordination. The same can be said with participating in competitive sports like baseball and football. Um, you will have better hand-eye coordination if you play those games. So it's not saying that video games are better than physical activity at developing hand-eye coordination. Um, but they have said as well that people who play video games are better, um, are more able to make quick um, decisions, rapid problem solving. Not just problem solving, but rapidly making decisions. Because in games, that's what you're presented with all the time is every couple of seconds you're presented with essentially a decision. You know, even if it's a shooter, you know, you come around a corner, you see two guys, um, you have to decide the best way to handle that situation and you have to decide immediately. And they have done studies that show that, that people who play video games, you know, gamers, are better equipped to naturally make quick, decisive decisions. Um, that's leadership, folks. Um... So yeah, enough of me uh, praising video games as I sail into the final piece of this uh, map here. I missed a little bit up there at the very north tip, but you know what? That's a pretty good little episode right there. One entire map filled out in 43 minutes. So uh, yeah, my point, I, again, I'm just rambling, you know? You know, I talked about how I get off point and, and you guys have to kind of redirect me. Um... Video games are awesome. I hope you guys play video games to have fun. Um, I hope I can help guide you to games that will be more fun for you. And um, I hope you guys will guide me into doing the things that you want to see that will help you enjoy what I do more. Yeah? That seemed clear as mud. Hey, look, here's an... Oh, remember in the... Like, was the first or second the, the first real episode we did of this when we sailed in we actually started over in that little inlet and I spent the night out there and then I saw that this hill and I sailed over here and I thought this will be a good place to settle this was covered in trees this was actually a mountainous kind of area there was an extra hill here and all covered in trees and I walked in there and I started my little mud hut and look at what has happened to this area and we're not even we haven't actually even done all that much, you know. We're talking two buildings and some farms. But look at how much the landscape has changed. 
Look at this. This is, you know. Seriously? You still don't want to play Minecraft. Like, like serious. Go, go back and watch like the first or second, the, the first two episodes of this Minecraft series. It's it. This is in a playlist. My Minecraft episodes all end up in a playlist. Go watch the first episode. Look at how this looked then and how it looks now and tell me that there isn't something inherently appealing about this kind of creativity and this kind of creation. There's there's a very simplistic beauty in Minecraft, which is why it's become so popular. Um, 45 minutes in. I really should stop here. Um, there, this would be a good opportunity for me to show you what I've done with the dome on the house. Because it looks freaking awesome. But we will save that for next time. Um, and look, we were so far away, the wheat didn't even grow in that time. Because we were out of the... The chunk wasn't loaded, so it wasn't progressing. Yeah, there you go. Um... Okay, I hope we've had enough ranting and rambling for me. Um, this is actually the closest I've been to being a pure commentator playing single-player Minecraft because I don't have anyone to talk to and it's not live commentary. So I hope I'm not too preachy or annoying for you guys. Again, leave feedback. If you are, um, you know, a younger gamer, uh, I'm not. You know, I don't hate you. I don't dislike you. And if uh, I said some things that that kind of annoyed you, got on your nerves, and you know, leave feedback. I, I accept negative and positive feedback as long as it's constructive if you just call me a fag i'm probably not going to respond too well to that um i probably won't respond to it at all but anywho um leave feedback everyone leave feedback if you you know i may not want to play games with 12 year olds but i have absolutely no problem interacting with them on my channel because you know we're still a community um i don't want to invite you over to my house at night to watch movies um because that's creepy but uh you know you guys are part of the community, and I still love you. Um, everybody else, I love you too, and I do want to invite you over to my house at night to watch movies in the dark. <laughs> 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 ah! Ah! Ah!